let's talk about the new cholesterol guidelines. So what do you want physicians to know? Yeah, these are exciting new guidelines, uh, first ones in a while, uh, takes on new prevention uh, treatments and also talks about new ways in which we decide who gets treatments, much more personalized and risk stratified. All right, so let's talk first about secondary prevention. What's new there? Well, in the past, we were very aggressive in treating all patients with uh, known coronary disease with high-dose statins. Mm -hmm. These new guidelines now separate out from high to even very high-risk groups. The very high-risk groups now, beyond statins alone, we try to hit targets with either use of azetamide or alternatively the PCSK9 inhibitors for those who cannot get their cholesterols down on statins alone. Okay, and this is a step-up fashion, correct? Exactly. Okay. All right, let's talk about primary prevention. So primary prevention, we've taken, again, the same approach that had been in old guidelines, 2013 guidelines, looking at the underlying risk of the patient population to decide who gets treated. But now we have a few other caveats to that. For those patient populations who have known things that increase your risk beyond your 10-year risk prediction, such as do you have inflammatory conditions or are you South Asian or do you have a family history of disease, those now are risk modifiers and increase the likelihood you'll be treated more aggressively. Finally, for the patient who's still unsure after they had this discussion with their doctors, imaging can be used such as coronary calcium scores. Okay, so let's talk about what's new in treatment. I think what's neat in these guidelines is now, in addition to statins, we have other drugs such as azetamide or alternatively the PCSK9 inhibitor drugs that can be used. Those are added in a step fashion to those highest risk, but also there's value judgments put into these mm. where they choose to say in, it should only be used in aggressive treatment for those who need it the most.